Vatracej, vatracej. Namaste world, my name is Amy Brown. I am a vocalist MC from the Cape Flats in South Africa. I am proud to say that I am currently working on my mixtape EP called Be Beautiful with a capital U. Um, I feel it speaks to all walks of life and all kinds of people. I also have recently had the extreme honor of working on the Key of B, the Key of Ponte Evil project. Uh, my friend Bradley is the brain behind all of it and I feel really grateful to have been a part of it. I feel it's doing such important work, uh, bridging so many gaps. I am proud to be featured on a track called Guns, 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 which is really close to my heart, considering that I am part of a family where a lot of our young boys have turned to gangsterism. Um, my older brother is part of a gang and the reality of gun violence and the, the actual, like, you know, cross over between institutional violence and how it is that we find legitimate, if you will, weapons in the middle of crossfire uh, is something that spoke to me. I believe it was in, uh, inspired by something that uh, Adam read, saying that a lot of the crimes that have been committed by criminals in that particular place were actually done by police weapons. So to me it's like so telling as to where how us as a marginalized society are. Um, the people who are charged with looking after us are part of the problem, very much so. Sometimes unknowingly having the weapons stolen, but a lot of the times uh, administration and, and criminals in cahoots with each other. And that's what my verse goes about. I start my verse by saying, welcome to the wild, wild west. And to me, it's, it's the Cape Flats currently where we live is indicative of how things were then. It's, you know, martial law, it's living by the gun and dying by the gun. The reality of the third world is so spaghetti western, just without the hero that runs in on the horse to save us. And I think in a lot of ways we are becoming our own, our own heroes in these westerns, kind of coming in and saving the day for ourselves and kind of running the, ba the bandits out. So if anything, I feel the song relates to that. Um, I say that it's hard for us to trust the police uh, when they use the same guns that are destroying the streets or the ones they're supposed to use to protect us with. So to me, the dichotomy is so real and it's just so evident how they will catch a, a drug user but never catch the drug dealer, you know? And that's why I feel that particular uh, project is so important or track is so important. Besides Guns, 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 I'm also featured on a track called Dividing Lines with a lot of really well-established artists in the city, so that in itself was a great experience for me to be able to even record with the artists in the caliber of Gary. Arsenic was so, so fun, you know, Metaloid, they do the most, they've been doing the most, also always doing the most in representing marginalized voices and, and people, so that's really important to me. Dividing Lines in itself, you know, in the South African context, it could be race, it could be gender, it could be language, uh, financial resources that are, are accessible to the individual. So dividing lines in itself, just kind of identifying the many stratifications that we as South African people experience. And as much as we try to not, we find ourselves almost, the only way to survive is to stratify yourself into some sort of clique. You pick a, pick a label, pick a label that suits you and live in that label. So the track is almost saying, we're giving thanks for the fact that we are different, as opposed to using it as a way to further divide ourselves. We are giving thanks for the multi-layers that our South African identity gives us, as well as saying we want to create bridges that allow us and our brethren to connect with each other, as opposed to further exacerbate this idea that we are not the same, you know? I mean, I think when you, whenever you take different people from different backgrounds, even in our our context, you can't assume that people look the same in our country are the same. So as many brown faces and many people of color on this project, we all have our own different realities. And I think it's important to remember that within our sameness, there are these multi-layers of things that we identify with. So the, the, the process of creating this project has been so important to me because firstly, we are a generational mix. There are people from one generation, from the, from the standard generation and those of us within the great generation you know we've managed to find a symbiosis which is so beautiful and that's what music is it's a ultimate bridge between any kind of thing the fact that you don't have to understand what i'm saying whether it's in afrikaans or not means you can still enjoy the rhythm that the music is presenting to you so in that way we are we are the bridges we are the futuristic 
we are the prophets of the future trying to create a new, you know, a new space, a new creative space, a new, I just want to say a new world order where, where difference is embraced but not taken as a, a way of hurting us but as a way of showing how powerful we are. So if, if I've learned anything from working in the KFB, it's that, it's exactly that, it's the fact that that resonant frequency of music is the thing that connects us all. You know, that vibration is always going to keep us similar. Yeah.